and windy conditions are threatening to, ba to back set back firefighters battling huge wildfires in Australia. NBC's Ian Williams is in Katoomba, Australia with the very latest there. Ian, good morning. Hi, Natalie. Well, it's actually started to rain here in the Blue Mountains, but not nearly enough to affect the fires. Instead, we're, we've been warned of extreme fire conditions, strong winds expected to fan a wildfire that's already blanketed Sydney in smoke and could threaten its western suburbs. Overnight, firefighters went on the offensive, starting their own fires in an effort to slow the progress of a blaze now covering an area of forest the size of urban Sydney. This area of forest has been deliberately burnt as a last line of defence, providing a buffer against the approaching wildfire. Officials describing extreme temperature and winds forecast for Wednesday as about as bad as it gets. Look, I've been fighting fires for 33 years and it's the most challenging fire scenario I've ever faced. Among those on the front line, volunteer Tim Parsley, trying to block the fire's progress through a blue mountain valley. If we can make some kind of difference to it here, then we will. He's an engineer who usually works on satellites, but the fight against the fire has become personal. My, my sister losing her house made it, I guess, a little bit more difficult this time around, so we were trying to manage the, the family issue as well. The fire could threaten Sydney's western suburbs if it sweeps down from the mountains. Residents in the worst affected mountain areas have been told they have till midday Wednesday to safely leave, which many are reluctant to do. It's your home. You just want to stay here and just protect it, I guess. Though it may be hard to protect against what's already the worst fire disaster in this region in four decades. If the forecasts are right, Wednesday will see soaring temperatures and winds gusting to up to, six, up to 60 miles an hour. Perfect conditions for a wildfire, Natalie. Ian Williams in Katoomba, Australia. Thank you.